you ever wake up in the morning and think to yourself, geez, today would have been a good day just to stay at home and sleep in and not do anything at all, just kind of days out? I think so. Today's one of them days, but it is what it is. Welcome to life of Bill Well, we're just going to head into work here. I'm not, I haven't got the camera on me today because it's dark in the truck. I want to be able to see Dick. So you might as well have a little gander out the window and see what you think. But, as you all know, follows me on Facebook or Instagram. If you don't, then you should. Because, why wouldn't you? I got the old 87 in there at the old J&J &J Body Shop. He's fixing that little spot on the roof and stuff I told you about that needs to be fixed. I was going to wait until fall. But then I said, eh, might as well fix her now and get her over with. Yeah. Also, pulled out the 305 or 315 last night. Had a little gander at it, see what it needed. I think the old transmission's going in the 87. I think we're going to lose a reverse in that thing. And I got a new transmission for it. But if I'm going to change the transmission, I might as well change the engine too. I didn't say I'm going to do it right now. I'm just saying I might as well get it close to ready in that way. If one day it just says, hey, listen, I'm not going to run for you anymore, then I can just kind of swap it out and say, how you doing? Well, leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about the whole deal whatnot this not the other freaking thing maybe we'll figure it out together i miss you guys haven't been on in a bit sorry about that I'm kind of shy on content right now and kind of just going with flow i am sometimes you just got to do that in life sometimes you got to stand back look at it just go with the flow jim sometimes hey it depends how you feel that day i guess it's a real shitty day out today with this rain and stuff I'm just not into the mood of doing anything right now i'm just kind of driving or having a hard time even steering the steering wheel on the truck right now because I just don't want to even do that. Anybody else feel that way today? Leave a comment down below, I wouldn't you? Oh, I got a video coming up for you maybe if you want to see it, let me know in the comments. I got a, the old bidet there, I did a video on that bidet. If you haven't seen it, go back and see it. Just type in bidet and you should be able to find it maybe. I don't know. We washed a few butts with that one and you know, kind of got tired and this and that and the other thing so we're gonna have to change that out but I went and I uh, bought myself a pretty half decent one there spent half a grand on her we'll see this one's got heat and everything so let me uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see uh, see a video and install on that one because I'd be more than happy to take you along with me if that's what you want to see anyone going camping this year let me know about that too because I'm always curious if you're going camping or not I'm going camping soon Next month that they're going to the pineries or something like that, we're going to have some little how you doing time. Got to do some work on the trailer soon coming up. Got to wash it, clean it, and this and that and the other thing. So if you want to come along for the ride with that, just leave me a comment down below as well. You also should all subscribe, that's for sure. Because if you don't subscribe, you're not going to know what comes out next. I'm a man of different personalities. Do what the hell I feel like doing and Yeah, that's what I do. My wife and daughter are right into cats. They, they just love their cats. I'm telling you right now, we got too many goddamn cats in the house. They got sick cats in the house. One of them is my grandmother's that passed away, so we gotta keep that cat, but it's pissing everywhere. You leave a clothes out, you leave your clothes out on the floor and it pisses on them. You know, it, it just it oh. like I just want to take it out back and shoot it, to be honest with you, but I can't because it's my grandma's cat. She's gone now and I told her to take care of her cat for her and it's you know 17 years old and stuff. It's gonna die soon, so that's probably a good thing. And then, you know, once it dies, I don't have to worry about cleaning up its piss after all my clothes. I, I put one t-shirt, it just hates me, I think. It always pisses on Michael. He would drop a t-shirt on the floor, yeah, it pisses on. At least it pisses on a t-shirt. Yeah, at least I can wash that or throw it out or do whatever I gotta do with it. But still, it's not the point. The point is that the cat needs to fucking go. It does. So, leave a comment down below if you have a cat like that in your house. Where it's just gotta go. It's gotta go and be gone. Oh, I saw the Honda Accord there, if anybody wanted to know there, the one that I showed you in the last video. Yeah, it's gone. I sold it. So, you know, I was going to keep it. Then I was going to sell it. But then I ended up not selling it. Then I ended up keeping it. Then I then I ended up selling it. So, it's gone now. That's all I'm going to say about that one. So, I took half the money for that. And I gave half to my mom. And, of course, because it was her car. And I put half into my truck there. Still gonna owe more money on that truck though. I think that's gonna be around a thousand bucks to get done with paint on that truck. I'm glad I got to it now though and not left it because if I left it then I would have been doing it anyway. So I might as well do it now instead of later. That way I don't have to worry about doing it later. 
because I did it now. That helps. Leave me a little paragraph down there if you, you feel the same way about that. That's always good to know. Another thing I should do right now really is turn the heat up in the truck. I haven't turned the heat up yet. It's only 45 in here, so it's a little cool, but let's just uh, take that off the coal and put it to the hot. We might be able to get some place, uh, nice heat in here, and that way it won't be so damn cold. Supposed to be 77 on Sunday. Maybe if I get my truck back and we'll go for a little spin. But hey, there's no rush. I might not get it back until next week. Still got to put the windshield back in it because I took the windshield out so they fix it properly, paint it properly so it looks right, so it doesn't look like it's half done. Anymore. A little spot on the roof there had a couple dings in it. I don't know if it's from hail damage or whatever. I don't know the story on it. Looks like somebody might have dropped something on the roof or something at one point. Of course, there's a double layered roof there, so you can't just take it, push it up from the inside, and this and that, the other thing. So, see if they can't stop from cracking next time, and this and that, the other freaking thing. But who knows? It might probably crack anyways. I don't know. We'll have to see. You might be able to see me a little better now. It's getting brighter out as we're driving here, so that's a good thing. Stay on your own side there, bud. How you doing? Yeah, I'm just in one of them moods today where I'm not too sure what to tell you and what to say and this and that and the other thing, but at least I'm saying something and you know that I'm here still. And I'm not dead yet. Close, but not quite. I'll let you know when I'm dead. You just won't know because I won't let you know because I'll be dead, but you'll know when I'm dead because I won't be doing what I'm doing right now if I'm dead. You ever wonder if you live hell now in your previous life, you're, you're a bad person, if this is what happens when you come back to life after being a bad person, you work your whole life and get nowhere and feel like you're just robbing Peter, pay Paul. And do you ever wonder if you're, you're, you're in your second life right now and I was a criminal in the last life or something, this is my punishment? You go and you work your whole life and then you die. That's what you do. Do you ever wonder that? I do sometimes. Not all the time, but just sometimes. For the most part, I have a pretty good life, eh? For the most part, I'm getting, you know, I have my toys, and I get to do what I want to do, and this and that, the other thing, until we go to digital currency, and then we'll all be screwed. I want to be able to go to the gas station and get reserve gas, because the government will say, oh, you're at the reserve gas, so we're going to have to charge tax on because you're evading tax, and this, that, the other freaking thing, and we well just put scanners on our necks, and that way they know exactly where we are at all times, and just get concrete over and everything we do. So you know what we need to do, eh? We need to stand up for ourselves and say, no way, God. You keep investing in your Bitcoin. That Bitcoin is one of the things that has taken us towards that way of a digital currency kind of world. And then you're really gonna, it's really gonna suck. Do you ever wonder how people go buy an old house, and nice land for like 500 some thousand dollars and then they tear it down, build a new house? Do you ever wonder how people do that? Cause I sure do. Where the hell they get their money to do that? Like. How does that even happen? There can't be that many rich people in this world. Well, maybe there is. I'm driving down the other street there over there, and went over the, just right over there, the other street, and there's a house there that, it was a nice little house, a nice little farmhouse, whatever, whatnot. It wasn't very old, probably about 20, 30 years old house. And they tore it down, they started building a new one. I, yeah, I just don't get it. It was right over there, right across there, a couple streets over there. It's unbelievable. I should have took you by there on the way here because I am early today, like really early. Sometimes you gotta be early to get there on time. If you're not there on time, then you haven't left early, that means you're late. So you might as well leave on time and get there on time so you're not late. That way you don't have to be early or late. I can't remember now, one of the two. I'm really glad you're here to listen to me talk about nothing. And I don't even remember what the hell I've been talking about, but at least you're here and you're listening and you're paying attention to what I'm talking about because it's kind of nice when I know you're here and you're listening to me talk. It kind of feels good, it does, to know you're here. To know that you're subscribing, leaving a comment down below and let me know what you think. We'll see you on the next one.